Hi, today I'm going to talk about how to use the formula field in Zoho CRM. The formula field is available in Enterprise or Professional Edition. Formula field is the field that you can save a value to there based on other existing fields value. Sometimes it's very, it is very useful, especially when you want to generate a report to see the information related to that formula field value. For example, in potential module, you want to know how many days it took from uh, potential created day to closing date. Or maybe you own a weight loss training company, you want to know how many pounds a customer lost from uh, training start date to training end date. The third example is, what is the average rating the customer give it to your service based on the customer submit the online survey form. Let me give you an example. In potential module, I have a customer feedback section. There are three uh, values, number. We need a average of those three uh, values. So we go to setup, field list, New custom field formula. We want to read average potential information. I want to put the customer feedback section. I want to return its number with decimal place, one decimal place. Now let's go to find those three fields first. One, two, three. We want to add those three first, so we need a bracket. After that, we divide it by three. Let's check the syntax. Syntax is good. Save it. Let's go back to that particular record. So we have a rating average value here. Let's change one value. Save it, become 4.3. If we change to 5, 4.7. So we get the average of those above three values. Now, let me give you another example. We want to know how many days spent between the created daytime and the closing daytime. We need to create a new formula field. Go to field list. We add a new custom field formula. Let's say days spent. We put one decimal. Now I'm looking for closing date. I'm looking for create date. I put a comma between of them, between two of them. I'm looking for Data time function, it's called date camp. So, date camp is here bracket to bracket. It will return the minutes. So, I need is okay, how we have 24 hours per day, each hour we have 60 minutes. So, let me check syntax. Okay, that's good. Let's go back to the potential. So let me edit this one. Let's say it's June 29. Okay, save it. Oh, by the way, this is the field we just created. Let's see the value. If we save it, so it is 1.5. So 27 to 28. In 28 to 29, maybe only half day. So that's that's one and a half day. That's the value. That's all. Thank you. Bye.